I could play a drum with your buttock hide across my drum. I'm gonna make a mask with your face. I'm gonna wear your scalp to bed. <laughs> I'll use your finger when I press the doorbell when I trick or treat. Your ears I will wear upon my cowboy hat. And teeth, they make good necklaces. I'll let your blood coagulate and cool it in the fridge and eat it at snack time like jello. Mmm, want some? <laughs> I dug a shed into the earth in my backyard behind the sunflower patch. I found them out on Halloween. There's always a lazy parent or selfish mom or dad that just lets their kids go out with a friend. That's when I'm out. They come to the door. If there is a pair, I take them. I grab their arms and yank them in and knock them out as quick as I can. Strip them down, drag them out back in the dark and drop them in the shed. They fall in a pile of Halloween candy. Now the air pipe I supply for the shed runs into my house up into my bedroom where I can hear cries and yelling. And the screams, oh, the screams of my little pet children. I see how long they live. There's still a little lady from last year down there. But I did lose one. And the cops, they stop by and question from time to time. I yell, go check the milk carton. <laughs> they don't like me. Now my pet children, they never see the sunlight. They're pale and white like ghosts. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between the pet children or the ghost. I had a girlfriend one time and I showed her. I thought she would think it was cute, but she screamed and I didn't like that. I had to kill her right away and bury her in the sunflower garden. From time to time I walk out there and I smell those sunflowers and I think of her. She was pretty. I killed him. Right, yeah, right, right. I didn't like what he said. It was all kind and I don't like main people. You should be a nice guy, right? Right? I look at it as if you can't talk nice, don't talk at all. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. He, he wouldn't hold the dog for an old lady, right? Right? That wasn't nice. One day he spit in me flower bed and hit the rose. I told him he was a nasty bloody wanker, right? Right? He didn't like it. I didn't care. Right the time he drank me last beer, right? 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 Yeah. I nearly killed him right then and there. But he was lucky I passed out before I could kill him. But the next day I started dug in the ditch out by the pool. He came out of the island. What are you doing there for? He said, I said, come here. I need help getting out of this hole. He walked up and pulled me out, yelling profanity at me. When he turned around, I hit him with a shovel, knocking him clean out. Then I rolled him into the ditch and covered him up. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Thank <laughs> you.
This is Carcass. I'd like to invite you over for Carcass Studio. We are having liver stew and hot ribs with a little touch of eyeball soup. Won't you come over and join me for this feast of the holiday season? Please bring your appetites because... You are the meal. <laughs> I was chained to the wall. I don't know how many days. And he'd come down and burn my skin. And then he'd beat me with some kind of a apparatus. Had a hard rubber in. He's hitting me real damn hard. Making me bleed all over. Stuffed rags in my mouth. And I couldn't breathe a yell. Then he'd give me some kind of drug and put me out. That's all I remember. Other things like the abuse is the only thing I can remember. And I don't know what to do about all this. The news won't cover me. Yeah, he's safe. You better watch your children out there. Nobody's safe. These streets are dangerous. I'm telling you, I've been through it. I was a lucky one to escape. I was a lucky one. I couldn't believe the horrors I had to go through. I couldn't even believe, begin to tell you, because I don't think you would believe me. The hells, I swear it was Satan. I swear it was the devil, be as above. I swear it was Mephistopheles. I swear it was the great beast. The beast should be damned to hell. The farmer came up from the field and said, there's something out there. Just then he ripped open his flannel shirt and it was pulsating, a pulsating mass in his chest. Pressure getting harder, popping out further, then splat! It exploded in the front yard, taking that hard work and farmer's life. The hazmat suit showed up with the utility vehicles, helicopters, and suited men all wearing black with mirrored sunglasses. They tended up the house and barns and they killed the livestock for study. Farmers, wives, and kids were never seen again. Corn doesn't grow there anymore. The house and barns were burnt to the ground. Just the plot of farmland encased in an unusually tall concrete fence. A plot of land that died. From what I can tell, it don't even rain there. It just rains around it when a storm comes through. Nobody's allowed to witness it. But that's what the locals say. Some people say they see strange lights fly by. Rumors say aliens are stealing children. And those children, they're still missing. Nobody plays outside anymore in fear that the kids will come up missing. In fact, Halloween, it was mighty eerie in town. There was nobody out. Nobody. I said I was going to put your body in the tub, fill it up with hot water, and smell the heated dead body, just because I want to. I said I was going to take your body, take portions, smoke the meat, and put it in a soup. 
I said I was going to take some of your portions of your body and use it for fertilizer to grow roses. I said I was going to use your body to take portions of your body and put it in little trick-or-treat wrappers and pass it out to the children that come to my door. That's what I'm going to use your body for. It was a dead sky. No moon or stars. Deep, damp, dark clouds for that help. Shadows move in the graveyard. Hellhounds in the forest howl. Sniff out the trail of the hopeless, the weak. and the blood of the elderly. She milked a nursing mother and mixed it with rattlesnake venom for the child in the cage. A child she stole from a drunken father. She tempts the king. She drove the queen insane. She seduced all the sons and cursed all the daughters. She lay waste the land right up to your door. It's outside right now. Don't go out tonight. <laughs> There's demons on the street. They scowl and prowl. Kill for thrill. Like a tickled baby, they laugh when you die. They rush in to fight for your soul. They block the light, losing your way. They burn the lantern to so feed his fat to confuse your lost little soul. They invite you to your light, like a moth you go. Your soul burns in their fetus fat, lantern's light. Cinders of you get snorted up into Satan's nostrils. He coughs you out with wretched phlegm from his cold black lungs. You splat on the ground where you're stepped on between hooves of serpents of Satan. He slays them when he's hungry. He lavishes and dines on their sorrow, laps and licks the grease of you. The only thing left of you, Diablos belches and regurgitates you, only to swallow you back into his rotten stomach. See, you should have been a better person. You just didn't do enough while you were alive. You might have been too selfish or maybe lied or cheated too much. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you did, you know what it is. You and only you know, now for eternity.
rip your flesh off of the bone. When I am home alone, I know what you taste like. I have a piece every night. It's nutritious. It feeds my soul. It feeds my courage. It replenishes my sins. It completes my mission. I taste you every night. It's you I devour. Bloodbath and shower. There's something that makes me do this. Something makes me do all of this. With pure extreme pleasure, digesting you, digesting you, that's what I do, you do not go to waste, I use every bit, every precious morsel, delicious and scrumptious, a delicacy delight, that's what I do every night, I eat you. I chew on your bones, the grizzle, the cartilage, the hair, the blood, the guts, fingernails, and finger toes. I eat, I eat it all. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Oh, black crow, oh, black crow, you pick at the eyes of a scarecrow, but the vulture, ah, oh, yes, the vulture, vulture, oh, vulture, you soar above the carcass, circling and swooping, catching a whiff of a stiff, <laughs> To peck at the ribs of the roadkill. You fly, you fight, you scavenge from the sight of your flight. Never cared for what's wrong or what's right. Where do you go at night when you're not in flight? Is it good? Is it delicious? It just seems so malicious. The way you cut, tear, rip and shred all these things that are dead. How about a vegetable or a fruit? Or does that not fit your suit? You fly so gracefully. You devour with pure efficiency. How can you tell such a faint smell from where you dwell? Contending with beetles, maggots, and worms, and your own very family. Just to stuff your gizzard with a deer, possum, or lizard. Where you go?